go, go, go. Off and moving here. And Taylor deep. has made the first cut very closely followed by Digger. I'm basically seeing a very fast start from Digger and Hillboys, um, but there's a lot to play for still, and a lot of time to go. Look at this, we've got a loader on its side. He may have to reset this if he can't write it. GTR is lining things up. The guys can get this in, they are going to be in prime position. But look at that, a bit of teamwork there. GTR just reversing oh. ever so slightly to help Hillboys get oh. those into the truck. That's, that's a genius strategy. They actually have a good amount of trees there ready to load. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievably close. He's honking. I think he is on his way out. But we're just getting the console team coming in now to slow the container. Armour um, Hamish is on his way in. He's running straight down the train tracks. No care at all for his well-being. Hello everyone, moment of truth, and can you hear me? I have to put ARGs up as well, I just realised I haven't got a single screen, so you'll always get a nice picture of ARGs as well at the same time as me. How is everybody doing? Give me a sign people, give me a sign. Yay! <laughs> we are here for the first official look at the Logging League for 2023, sponsored by Rustmaster. And a big thank you to Dave, who's in chat as well, uh, from G Portal for sponsoring the servers as well. Big shout out to you, mate. Much appreciated. <clears throat> we are super, super excited about Honestly, it's been a whirlwind the last couple of weeks, getting things set up. Uh, some brilliant support from Thrust Thrustmaster. Tim at Thrustmaster, thank you very much for everything you've done so far. Um, it means that we can give out some really cool prizes and really go for it with the league this year. More to come on that in the next week or so. Um, tonight is just about having a little bit of a play, chatting to Kermit from Giants, who's going to um, have a chat with us about a few things. And then, uh, yeah, we'll jump into a few games. We've got uh, a few of the guys that signed up for Logging League already on the teams. I think Kermit's going to play as well. And uh, we'll take things from there. Um, I've also got to give a big shout out to Farmer Hamish, who is our secret weapon. He's been working tirelessly in the background. He's responsible for setting up the courses, uh, the server. Um, he's the brains behind it. Um, and uh, got to give him a massive shout out. Um, so if you uh, see him in chat, give him a virtual high five because he, he definitely earns one. Um, so without further ado, let me see if Args is ready for a chat and Kermit. Um, but great to have you all here. If I don't interact as much with chat as usual, I apologise, it's going to be pretty full on this, um, but uh, I'll keep an eye on things and if we can uh, if we can answer anything, we will. Um, so yeah, let me uh, rack up my mic and see what happens. I think the I think actually both boys are still on. Um, both boys are still chatting. They're doing their intros. So they're not ready for me yet. I've peaked too soon. I've peaked too soon. <laughs> Two for one. Saran, it could be three for one. If you want to watch Lazy Goat, actually, I can't pin this, but maybe Farmer Ed can do it. Um, Lazy Goat, you can watch all three streams as well. In one place. So... Um, a good Scottish phrase from Driz there on your cell, big man. All right, guys, are you uh, are you ready? I am good to go, Kermit. Um, we've ready, just enjoyed Kermit. listening to FSG for the last two minutes because he didn't have his push to talk on. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> everybody, everybody in chat, let us know how the audio levels are because yeah, like I told these guys, it never fails that you set them before, but then it always ends up changing. So feel free to let us know how that's all going. 
All right, um, FSG, Argzy, where are you guys on the map right hey, now? Hey, I want you. We're in the start point. I want... We are. We're up at the starter farm. Not that the starter farm's there because we um, did this in new farm. No, not new farm in mind. But anyhow, up on the bridge overlooking the town. Okay. Is this you two over here, like hanging out? Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'll be over there in just a minute. I'm gonna well, I mean, you. you've we got to run, to so if it's easier for us to come down to you, we'll come down to you. <laughs> Whatever works. Where are you? Yeah. Uh, I just spawned at the uh, rural farm south, like west of you guys. There's some equipment here that I'm running towards. Oh, Sound is good. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm with. Spot. I'm where like most of the other guys ah, are. Right. Yes, See, yes. hey, mission. There we go. Brilliant. So here we are. Yeah. What is this making me run at normal speed over here? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, be the beauty of the beauty of the Farmsim League is it's uh, Farmsim League, the logging league. That's a faux pas. Um, beauty of the logging league is it's crossplay. So uh, we've got to make sure everything's for console players as well. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so yeah, you guys have created this. What like what was it about like uh, a month ago or so that you did like kind of the initial testing of it? Well, it spawned yeah. in the Args from a. We were playing Silver Run just after it came out, and we just at the end of a stream, we did a joint stream on it, and we just said, "Should we just have a race?" And it was so much fun that we kind of then had a chat in Discord, and we're like, "This could be quite good fun if you turned it into a competition." And it kind of went from there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Gotcha. We um we run a multiplayer server, so if G and I had a one v one battle first, and then there was sort of six others, and we got through that, and we thought, "Well, let's try it with a uh, with a player in each." each bit of equipment doing a different task and uh, yeah it was a lot of fun we we sort of commentated that and it uh, grew legs from there yeah that's cool um so yeah i i love it like i i saw the trailer and reached out to you guys basically and like hey let's uh i want to i want to try my my own hand at this i know that it's going to be an interesting uh, time for me I'm probably going to have lots of good <laughs> flippable moments where i make a fool of myself um but yeah really looking forward to it i have to admit that like i've not done as much forestry on silver run as i would like to or since it came out so you guys are uh, way more experts than i am that's for sure i've seen you on farm some leak cam i know you i know you're like a secret weapon yeah <laughs> a secret uh weapon in that i join your team and destroy it from within like a ticking time bomb <laughs> <laughs> something like that yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah so do you guys want to show me kind of a general overview of like what to expect like what the course looks like how what the competitions are looking like um yeah well yeah there's three uh separate courses so you don't play the same course over and over um so okay. this is one of them which is one of the more challenging ones because it's a very steep slope ahead of you okay um so it, it there's a little bit of a decision-making process, really. Uh, we kind of leave it up to um, the teams to work out the best way to play it. But um, okay. you've got a... If you see where Hamish is there, we've got a fence separating two sides of the sides of the hill, and it's, it's uh, whether or not you run along the bottom or you go straight up the hill and where the best trees are and how you can maximise the way you fill, fill your container. Okay. Cool. So... I I think the main thing to point out is the, the objective of logging league, which is to fill a twenty foot container and deliver it down to the uh, to the main container cell point on the other side of the map. So three v three, you're going to have one person's operating the cutter, one's loading, and the other has to get the truck. So in this arena, uh, we'll call it an arena. This uh, setup here, the truck's actually down at the cell point. So whoever's your truck driver has to collect the truck, load up a trailer, put a container on the back, and then drive here to the loading point so uh instead of the truck driver just waiting around there's a little bit of a challenge and that's a theme throughout uh, the three different arenas we've got set up cool um that's really nice and you guys already have like a, a decent uh, amount of players like we're gonna have what how many people are in here right now we've got, so we've got it to... we've got it for 3v3 at the moment so uh you know two poor souls here are going to be playing along with you and the other three get to <laughs> join each other yeah Gotcha. And you guys are, are just going to be doing your commentary thing, huh? Yeah, that's right. We need to practice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, so any, uh, points, any pointers with your FSL uh, experience, let us know. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
I, I think that it, it seems like it's something that can be really exciting. And I, I'm, I'm really always looking out for people within the community doing creative things like this. So it's really cool to see that you guys have created this. And um, hopefully um, now you've got like some official backing as well uh, that you've signed some deals. And, and uh, so it's going to hopefully pick up some momentum for you all and it will be pretty interesting. And that's kind of the whole point of this uh, new series of streams that I'm doing with the community multiplayer. I want to show off unique things that people are doing on their multiplayer servers with their communities. And this is kind of a natural first fit for the first episode because you guys have created something rather unique, specifically with our like latest bit of DLC, um, you know, the Platinum expansion and Silver Run Forest. So. Uh, what did you get? Did you guys do any landscaping to the map? I know you've put like these fences in, but like how much uh, else have you modified the map or is it kind of just as is? Um, not masses. I mean, big shout out to Farmer Hamish, who's uh, very uh, um, busy in both Hogsy and my communities. He's done a lot of the groundwork here. So this this okay. area that you're standing on here has been leveled. Uh, and landscaped right. to give us a little bit of an arena and a starting point. Uh, but in principle, the other side is is other than the fence going up there is is base game. So, yeah, there's no changes to that. We just needed a bit of space to operate um, to get vehicles right. in and out at the start. So yeah, but uh, he's done a wonderful job. He's set up all the courses. He's designed the courses. In fact, it might be worth going down to this to one of the other courses, the one down in uh, field two. Okay. Um, Because that's actually quite, quite uh, special. Actually, what he's done there. I'll let Args, you can talk through that one. Yeah, I'm just finding my way there through the equipment. Here we go. So this one, he's set up more as a arena, um, okay. and it's split evenly with the same amount of trees. And there's a little bit more of a challenge here. You've got to back the truck out if you're the truck driver. The containers are set up to be loaded on, but uh, you've got to load them without lifting them over the fences. So. The uh, idea was, because what we noticed when we first did this was the truck driver basically sat around for his container to be all there, his or her container, yeah, politically correct here, um, their container to be full and um, didn't do anything. So this was a bit of a challenge to get the get the truck driver involved while the uh, cutter and loader are doing their thing. Um, and then you've got to na navigate the little zigzag into the uh, into the actual arena to load up and, and come back out. So um, a little bit more of a... I don't know small small area. We actually found that this one was the fastest of the three, wasn't it? FSG when we ran it last time. Hey guys, give me just a second. Of course, uh, like technical difficulties never fail, and for some reason, <laughs> my camera has just turned itself off. So give me one moment. Yeah, no worries. No worries. We'll Sorry, chat. chat. I um, I uh. So one thing, like FSG, the the biggest benefit for this was the update with Silver Run Forest made logging much more accessible for console players with the auto load containers and things like that. That's right, yeah, and the improvements to uh, the physics for the logs as well. I think just mm, over yeah. overall, it, it just made it a more enjoyable experience, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, um, I don't think we would have would have wanted to do this previously. So you know, big thanks to Giants for the improvements that they have made to the game and keep on making to the game. It's very nice. But uh, while we're waiting for Kermit, it is nice to have Thrustmaster on board as a title sponsor for the logging league. Uh, awesome to have their support throughout and what we have planned for the next five or six months and uh yeah i'll jump back as well because i haven't added my audio to that either yeah i haven't added my audio to that either so we're uh... But I flashed it up, and basically, I think uh, I've been a big advocate of the the T sixteen thousands. So, uh, you know, I had a I had a pair already, but they really came into their own when uh, when uh, the platinum edition came out and uh, the logging. It's yeah, been cool. uh, it's been a revelation. I, you know, you're the same, aren't you? You've got a set, and yeah. You maybe yeah, used them. them intermittently beforehand, but I've got mm. them fully set up now, and uh, it's actually made me use them a lot more for. Uh, regular gameplay as well you know front loaders and um yeah things like that on the farm so it's great yeah yeah the mining and everything i've done on elk mountain um that's a lot of fun when you've got them set up properly and running an excavator and doing all that it really is quite enjoyable and you can sit there forever 
Um, I just need to apologise to my stream because I didn't have uh, my microphone set up in this scene. So I've been sitting here talking and I've been watching my lips move and can't hear anything. So <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties. I think yeah, yeah. my camera should be uh, good now. I have no clue what happened there. Um, but uh, that's the fun of, you know, streaming on your own. You guys know how it is. Mm. Uh, you're you're the host, you're the producer, you're the cameraman, <laughs> you're the yep. audio guy. Uh, so yep. luckily, it's a long uh, running joke in my streams that I never get the audio right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, now with that distraction, I retained nothing that you guys said about the chorus, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> You'll figure it, it out. It You'll figure it out. It's pretty. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, um, should we get into it? Should we get some teams sorted out? And just I think we. we I think we should. Um, I wonder, so I wonder if we get our guys lined up. We have got a couple of um, uh, extra guys for uh, just for backup if somebody lost connection or anything like that, and we'll maybe rotate mm. them out through the different rounds. But uh, if okay. our, uh, I think we'll start. We're, we're going to keep this one, aren't we? We'll do this one second. I think second. Yeah, right? we'll go back up to where we were. Yeah, we'll, we'll go, go back to the start first. point. So that suits. Yep. Let's just jump back up here. Right. Jump into a vehicle. That's the easiest way. There we are. So, uh, so we need to set up some teams. And I know Kermit, <laughs> FSG and I, FSG and I, captains. I suppose we're gonna we're gonna pick a team and champion their cause. Uh, when it's the logging league, we'll stay much more impartial. But I right. think, well, I think today we might we might uh, try and pick a side and and support them rather than the others. But uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, yeah. I have a, I have a little like I asked you guys. I was, I kept this secret, and I wanted to kind of surprise you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, I know if you guys are going to be team captains, this will be interesting because this is just for fun, right? And I look forward to see it, like watching back your guys' <laughs> streams and seeing the trash talk that you guys have. Because, um, like you said, normally you'll be impartial, but today uh, you're going to be fighting each other for the bragging rights. Um, Absolutely. So yeah, if I had to pick a team. I, I want to start off by like saying that uh, Argzy, you're awesome, man, um, and uh, it's really great no to watch your going. content on um, on YouTube. Love the content you're doing, um, but you've never given me a hat, so I'm Team oh, Argzy guy. Hey, and bribery there it is. wins every time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd, I'd I'm start. Team FSG. I hate I'll to break you. it to you. Um, <laughs> I'll tell and I'll you what, put you, the hat on. You, you come to PAX Australia later in the year and I'll give you a hat. There you there go. You go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, or maybe, maybe you guys aren't. Maybe I felt like um, this is maybe foreign to both of you guys not being uh, from the US, but like our collegiate athletes, whenever they're in high school and they have signing day and they're cho like the biggest athletes, right? <laughs> the best recruits. They line up like three or four hats from potential schools they're going to and that's how they reveal I'm going to this school where they put the hat on. So oh, I just nice. felt like I had my, my uh, college recruit moment there. Oh, there you go. Well, out of, <laughs> I'm putting out of, on the FSG hat. <laughs> <laughs> out of protest, uh, I'm getting out of my Giants t-shirt and going to wear a bright orange. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's, oh, <laughs> that's wow. a statement. That's yeah. a statement right there. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So throw, right. throw some shade. Throw some shade. Okay, so if, so if, I've, had, if I've got the first uh, uh, player in Kermit, I'll let Args choose his next uh Oh player. you're gonna let me choose the next one. Well look, I'm um I'm gonna have to go with Kigarino. I'm gonna bring Kigarino into the Argsy team. Nice. Yeah, so unfortunately at... you get I I'm on your team, FSG, but I'm not sure that's really what you wanted <laughs> as your first choice. Like you I were said, you had a forced nice first pigs, choice. Welcome, mate. I have some video of you at FarmCon playing in FSL and uh you were the crowd favourite. There was a lot of cheering for you. <laughs> yeah, well, right. I right. I do try to please the fans. I don't try to win the game. I try to entertain oh. people at home. Yeah. Do you know the reason you did it this way is because you didn't want to be the last one picked? Because no one wants to be the last one picked on the team. <laughs> well, lucky enough, lucky enough, we've got two. Uh, we've got two guys who will ro rotate in for the next game. Uh, who true, will sit out true. this one so we're going to make sure everybody has That's a true. go but uh, I'm going to go just because he has gone for the maximum health and safety I'm going to go with Chef Splash <laughs> oh yeah he is no. looking ready for the job over there for sure <laughs> Yeah, that's funny you say that because I was going to pick Game with James for exactly the same reason he's got you know, high, high vis, <laughs> go. the helmet high and everything like that on so um, 
need them in the forest with a chainsaw. Excellent. Over here, boys. And we're assuming leaves. they're listening. That, see, we're assuming these guys are watching the stream and listening. I know, Maybe right? We're just they're just out that they're not actually randomly. watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is where this is where Super Hamish comes in in the background because he'll be shouting at them in yeah. Discord. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. And we'll, we'll um, we will go. Well, Ox, your 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 next picks. Don't know. I've got I've got mine. I've got James. You've got all. You were next, weren't you? You next. Where's um? There's Chef. There he is. Ah, Chef. He oh, must be getting changed. Ah, he's he's changed. He's gone for the high vis rather than the uh, jacket. There we go. I right. like it. We always laugh, Kermit, when someone gets changed. You know, when you're in a multiplayer server and they go to change their outfit and they just completely disappear out of the game. <laughs> right. Yeah. They go to that know, that magical wardrobe in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. I. This is. This is. Uh. I'm going to do a 360 in the first name I see. Okay. Real Juan, you're coming with me. Come uh, to the winning Sam side. Up. Come to the winning That's side. That's right. I, w I, would have, I would have picked Sam if I had a, had a choice out of those two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's one, he wants to be on oh, your team. He doesn't oh, want to be on your team. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, making a statement. Yeah. Oh, well, he probably in that doesn't, case. doesn't know the voices. Samu, come and join no, no, FSG squad. No, no, oh, no, oh, no. We were good. There we, we go. Good. All right. <laughs> fun. Right. Good fun. Well, then, in that case. So um, the way we start these off is Farmer Hamish will do a countdown and chat. He'll do a reset go with the uh, text chat, so it's all the same for everyone. So, yeah. uh, gentlemen, choose your weapon. Choose your uh, piece of equipment. Remember, the truck driver needs to head down and start in the truck down at the uh, down at the sawmill on the other side of the map. Okay. Kermit's, um, uh, Kermit's not so all the guys so you should know as well Kermit in, um, we have set up a logging league discord server so there's voice chats in there so each of the teams can join a voice chat so they can be talking to each other the whole time you're at slight disadvantage which I hadn't realised when I when you decided to pick me <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to speak to the rest of your teammates but um, right that's okay um, yeah that is going to be interesting I mean maybe we should have planned that and I could have joined them during this bit but uh, whatever you think's best, give me can, the uh, uh, give me the easiest uh, job. Well, maybe so if I'm you drive one the of truck. these two things. Yeah, or you could drive the truck. That's the other option. Yeah, I'll which, drive the truck. How about which you that? need to go and get Mark from Mark. the um, uh, sawmill the... down near Field One. No, no, um, North right sawmill. up the top, North Sawmill, in the container warehouse. Oh, okay. One of these trucks. So you need uh, to find a tr there's a trailer and there's a container up there you'll yeah, need to uh, so you've got to load your container on to. and bring it down yeah and then figure out the quickest most efficient route and safest route to get to the uh site okay there you go so guys if you're uh if you've got the lazy goat link which is showing all three streams at the same time you'll be able to watch uh um as kermit winds his way back down the map to us so are we? Uh, so we're the blue team, I'm guessing. Um, Green team. I'm in a sure. blue truck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, with you as the. Uh... This this blue and red. So. So okay, there's a uh, container that we need to load as well, and it's that down here in the same area. Uh, it is. It's behind yes. the. Uh, so yep. let me let me just jump up and show the guys on my stream as well. So there are two um, large wheel loaders there with forks. There are two yellow right. containers balanced on top of um, I see two those, black containers, yeah, okay. and the two trucks are sitting in the um, in the wood chips. Right. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, in the truck. Yeah. yeah, I'm in the truck. Okay. Okay. So, so basically, when we start, our goal is to get this container loaded onto here, and then get it up to uh, where our teammates are going to be, which is more like or down rather to them exactly um like in the middle-ish part of the map close to the starting area exactly okay. that yep. exactly i might stay up here Ogs, and watch these guys and you can record what's okay. happening all right um, so sounds good so we're now we're in the start of Hamish farmer hamish's hands yep there we go can already see that like i just want to like immediately try to cut off Kegarino and cause chaos from the start over here. 
There is um, there is strict rules against blocking other teams. Oh, I'm already Hamish, trying to break the rules. <laughs> Hamish, is, uh, Hamish is the referee, so you will be docked points. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, can Hendrik, do you have the Lazy Goat link? Um, if you could drop that into YouTube, um, and anyone on Twitch as well, if you guys can drop that. I can actually do it real quick before we start. Read the rules. Yeah, that would have been a good thing uh, to do. But, you yeah, know, thank you, Hendrik. I've went ahead and put it in on uh, Yeah, on I'm Twitch. glad we took loads so of time pulling that document together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't send me the rules. They didn't tell me anything about this. <laughs> it was always going to be more fun that way. All right, we're all good to go. Farmer Hamish. It's in your hands, mate. Yes. This is a countdown. Do the honors, Amish. Of course, you'll have to wait for our I'm streams to catch up. But... Your guys are actually uh, already sitting in equipment. They're ready to go. My team's just uh, standing around. I don't know what they're doing. Must be, uh, what is it? Is it union sanctioned tea break time? <laughs> uh, they want to go over their hours, do they? Factor then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Discussing their uh, reimbursements for this. Yeah, here. So uh, Matza is in chat right now, and he was one of the souls brave enough to invite me to be on Team Ashergon at that show match at FarmCon oh, yeah. that you were talking about uh, earlier. Yeah, <laughs> they could have been world champions but... if it wasn't for you, Kermit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. All right, let's go, Hamish. Just trying to get them to do a Le Mans start. So that's how we started it the first time. That's we right. uh, we were standing over in the we were standing at the gas station down by the shop, and we had to run to the equipment just to keep it uh, keep it a little bit different. But I think we're good to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, the excitement and tension is building for the first exhibition match for the Logging League for 2023. FSG's team on one side, Argsy's on the other. We've got Kermit from Giant Software throwing a spanner in the works. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, before we start, I see some people asking about this, and I want to say, um, yeah, these guys have created it, and I am so happy to show it off, but I want to make it clear that uh, Giants are not officially involved with it. So um, we're showing it off for them because we support our partners, and I love when people get creative and do awesome things like this, so that's why I'm joining them on the stream today. But uh, this is ARGZ and FSG's creation and their thing, so... Be, be sure to follow their channels on YouTube if you want to watch how the logging league is going to uh, evolve over the coming months as they yes. get started with it properly. That's and right, this yeah. is not a proper competition because um, no one wants me to be involved in a proper competition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Hamish yeah, has just put into the chat ready. So we are, I ready. believe, ready. Okay, give me a second because my camera has failed again and I think I'm just going to like hide it for the time being and just go with no camera because uh, I don't know what the heck the deal is today. So, there we go. Alright, now I'm ready when you guys are. I, re I reckon Excellent. you're doing that on purpose so know, people right? don't see, how con how yet see Kermit's concentration face. <laughs> <laughs> people are called me that out when i when i'm loading bales or something like that you sort of get this concentration look on your face where you're focused so intently right, on what you're doing you forget about the fact there's a camera facing you yeah it, it's actually a shame that the camera is messing up i don't know why it is it keeps shutting itself off and shouldn't be so we'll figure that out later i'm good hamish uh i said that like he could hear me but yes yeah. he can hear you <laughs> he can hear you. okay cool good to go all right, we're in the we're in the starter's hands. Um, one thing to just to say for your chat as well, Kermit, is uh, this is open to anyone to join. So we'll have some links and go, Discord go, go. and all those kind of things. Um, okay. Cool. In the future, so if yeah, if anyone anyone's interested in participating, they are more than welcome to. But we're going. We are off and moving. And FSG, you'll be pleased to know that you guys certainly are the fitter of the two players they were into their equipment and are already lining up their first trees i hope we've got permission set hamish so that everyone can cut trees um but you are underway and lining up the first cut there we go we've got our first tree going timber excellent and, uh, well we, we have will... a little bit of an issue here kakarino got a little bit stuck on a mound oh, of no. uh, earth as he came out of the uh of the uh, starting area so he's a little bit behind kermit's slightly ahead right. just about to pick up his container 
Oh, there we go. Now, I'm, I hope the guys are making sure they're cutting to the correct lengths because there is penalties for loading the incorrect wood. Um, and that's based on the income you earn at the end. So you could win, you could have the fillest container and get there first, but if your income is too low compared to the team that comes second, you could actually end up losing. And so it has got the his container. Is... Kagarino's oh, about to head up and pick his up as well. All right. We can uh, we can afford a little bit of delay with the loading, but uh, the truck's getting here. But we're sort of oh, starting no. to get it out through the logs. Ooh. So interestingly, Kermit has putting his container on with the doors towards the front, which could cause some issues for loading. That's yeah, that is. <laughs> that is. That was that the oh no moment? <laughs> yeah, that is the first uh, not paying attention moment. Glad I could hear the commentators. <laughs> that has allowed Kegarino to catch right back up. In fact, I think he might have taken the lead now. Oh, very good. Shame. Well, uh, Shame we're, seeing some, we're seeing some fantastic sorting of logs down this end with uh, Sam not worrying about keeping the last little bit of the tree. He's throwing that away. And uh, we're getting some good stacks down here already. First TikTok highlight, indeed. <laughs> okay, Kegarino is locked on and good to go. I think he's just slightly ahead of Kermit. Yes, Ke uh, Keg is away. And Kermit is following literally right behind him he's gonna yeah, so we're not getting a situation where anyone is going a different route they're all going the same way i'm actually okay with being behind him and i'm hoping that he knows the best route <laughs> oh i see oh, tactics no. some tactics here yeah I like as it. i catch the uh train tracks and jackknife from the jewels so of victory kermit's a stealing defeat <laughs> Uh, oh, the keg has the just hit a car, actually. So uh, not all going smoothly for Kegarino either. Mm. Just while we're talking about Kegs hitting a car, um, I'd just like to give him a shout out because Kegs has a disability and he is actually playing, largely controlling all the equipment with his mouth. He has a blow controller where he can puff air in to the controller and that's what controls most of the things so um he does have a youtube channel so if you're interested in seeing how that all works go and check him out at some stage because it's it's literally amazing <laughs> and it's a good shout for um for farmsome being able to configure a control like that and allowing for that sort of accessibility it is it's that's really cool deal. you guys were telling me his story before and and i, I think that's really um accessibility and gaming is is something um you know that is a pretty big topic i know that like Microsoft has created an accessible controller, for example, uh, mm. and different things like that. So it's really cool, especially like a game like Farm Sim, which, uh, as you can see, I'm playing with a controller and I'm not that great at it. And Kegarino's <laughs> way ahead of me. So quite <laughs> impressed with how well he's doing. Um, and yeah, maybe uh, that's to consider in the future. Love stories like that, though. I was laughing at my chat because they said, where did Kermit get his license from? Someone... <laughs> said 7-eleven and someone else said no amazon uh, cereal box yeah cereal box <laughs> licensed uh really? this um so this is not oh, uh, an gonna official go esports league those asking by the way yet well, we're gonna turn it into an official thing well maybe not with giants that's up to them but uh it's a it's a it's the official thrustmaster logging league though it is, it is. yeah congrats on that guys we Here were come uh, very trucks. close. Oh, where are they? They're we were very to close to losing one of the excavators then. Oh, Kermit has oh, just taken so... the lead. Keg clipped a tree, and Kermit has just snuck ahead of him as he goes across the bridge. Keg did all the work to get me here, though, to be fair, and then I took the lead at <laughs> the last minute. So. Standard behavior. From Shout out to my opponent. <laughs> uh, here's the interesting thing. You've got to get past the other team to get there, so I wonder if there might be some blocking and delay tactics. Oh. No, Sam's been Sam's been collegial, although you've taken one of our logs out there. I saw that I'm not there. sure if that's allowed. No. It was in the road. You know, There's nothing oh. I can do about it. <laughs> it was based in on, the road. Based on the description of your driving, I'm not surprised. <laughs> So, so now the fun starts for the loading drivers. They've got to start getting these logs picked up and put in. That's right. Well, we're starting better. Kegarino started better by opening the back doors of his container for his teammates, which is... Ah, uh, here he comes. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that's a good <laughs> thing. Actually, that's a good thing. Gaming with James was onto it. He was standing at the back of the truck as Keg's pulled in, and he, he was there opening it before he dropped really? back in his loader. So, All right, um, so now what should uh, someone like me be doing? 
now look staying, my teammates. Stay out of the way. Stay out of the way, Kuma. <laughs> stay out of the way. <laughs> I can do that with the best of them. I tell you. Yeah. So, so I mean, if you were com if you were communicating with your uh, honestly, might, might be right. Backing up. I would be a pro at staying out of people's way in the logging league. I can tell you that much. If you ever need someone to do that, I'm your man. <laughs> so I'm not going to give you. I'm not going to give you any tips, but uh, my team's got it pretty set. We're gaming with James is parking behind the truck and Keggs is backing up to the loader, rather yep. than trying to leave the loader to do it. So tactically, right. that is uh, something that the teams did in the first stream which was you know when we saw how people were thinking about how to solve the problem and speed things up it was quite impressive kind of reminded me of the uh, the river jump uh, in uh, fsl with the with the um front yeah those are always fun to yeah. see yeah 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 particularly, yeah, always, when, they, particularly when they go wrong yes 100 percent. and it's interesting there's a few ways of doing this isn't it you could strip and pile a lot of trees up or you can um or you can go and collect them from up the hill and certainly my team started <laughs> with a big pile of stuff down at the bottom um and there's a lot now left up the up the side of the hill there's so. a lot up the side of the hill gonna you guys will appreciate this uh dj goham's in chat and he said tactics nah fam speed and power <laughs> <laughs> DJ uh, Jeremy Clarkson, as we call him now. Yeah. <laughs> so we're certainly. I think the uh, red team has over half a container over this side. Yeah, these logs on this hillside, like uh, I am watching Splash try to pick these up, and this is no easy task. It that's really is for not, sure. No. Mm. Trying to pick them up at this kind of an incline with that wheel loader. Yeah, yeah. I think the tactic certainly is to to try and bring down the logs as much as you can and. <laughs> Bring a tree down and cut it down here on the landing site. Interesting yeah. to see the different tactics, though. Good. It is, but definitely, I would say, a, a handsome lead at the moment from uh, the red team, from Argsy's team. And uh, my team trailing a little bit behind. We did we're, see... We're some... saving the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> Kuma wants the glory of a uh, third-round comeback. Yeah. <laughs> We did see though uh, last time there was issues with trucks getting stuck on bridges and trees and all That's sorts right. of things it can jackknifing. Turn. Yep. It can. Particularly once you've got the weight of the container and it does change the truck behaviour a little bit, the physics. There's a quite an ample load here from Chef though. This could uh, this could change things up quite a little bit. And get into position and they stay within the grab. Nice to I see can, the update the sense. other day has fixed the uh, issues with uh, the grabs as well, which is great. That's right, that's right. It was uh, actually well timed throwing out the update just before we did this, Kuma. Yeah, sure. that wasn't that wasn't planned at all. Happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> it was a few nervous moments about getting it downloaded and making sure I was all up to date beforehand, but uh, no issues there. A couple of these logs are really being a pain at the moment and not wanting to go in. So here's an interesting thing. Red team, Kegarino put his container right at the back of the uh, of the low loader. Yeah, I put mine too far up. Yeah, well, was... We're just about losing the trailer, but not quite. Yeah, that, that that was smart to put it on the back like that. Chef nearly flipped the uh, Did loader. he extend his as well? He did. He has, yeah. 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 I think Keggs has been practicing secretly. Although he is stuck on a uh, log at the moment. The the, the tractor unit is stuck on I'll a log. Well, here. not stuck, but it may slow him down when he tries to pull away. Oh, he's right. He's cleared it. But Chef is struggling with his angles a little bit here to get into... There we go. There, there they we went. Go. We're good. There's some very big so logs here, close. so this would fill this would fill a lot of space in the uh, in the container. We're getting pretty was. close, to, getting pretty close to full over here on the red team, but I think, like you say, if it's G, there's enough logs there that you could catch up pretty quickly with those. Yeah. The gaming with James seems to just be working like a a metronome here. He's just picking up and loading up one after the other. It's uh, impressive to watch. Metronome, that's an interesting uh, turn of phrase. 
FPSG mm. has a thesaurus sitting next to his desk, <laughs> and he uh, was always looking for clever use of the English language. See, I don't know if putting the low loader down is helping. I don't think it is. So interestingly enough, with the uh, high lift Volvo, which we're not using here, but the ability to turn the grapple 90 degrees yeah. did help, because um, you could basically drive into the back of the container and have the logs going that way. There we go. There's a little bit of a solution here, actually. Yeah, if you lift your lift your arm up slightly and let Kermit reverse, Chef, you should get those in. Grabbed a couple that way. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely at um, a disadvantage with fence. me not being in voice chat with them. You're stuck on the fence, Kermit. Emma. Oh, I'm left now, side. Yeah. Yeah. Kermit's yeah. sitting on the Here fence. But actually, we've made a bit of a comeback, actually. Although, to be fair, there's a another tree has just been deposited by Samu here. I think this is going to fill your container arcs, and we have got a little bit more to go. I Chef, think so, the way it looks at the moment. Chef could grab these here. If you can get all of these in one go, you could be in a good position. So James is just approaching the rear of the container there. Kiggs has gone forward so he can back up with the last of these logs. I think we're going to see it. Take a few of them. The container must be... Oh, so, so oh close. I went too far. It's kind of tough to like try to get him from both the loader and the oh, the harvester at the same time with different, different angles for both. The doors are closed on the red container. They are off. Kiggs is making his move down the road. We are moving. Ah, uh, bummer. So I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you there, FSG. We're gonna follow Kegs on the way down and see how no he worries. gets on. If there's any chance for Kermit to catch up, no worries. We'll see. Yeah, my placement of the uh, container wasn't the best in comparison. We'll put it down as a learning experience. I hope this future. I think. Hope this future players here making notes, and uh, yeah, don't building, do what I do. Building <laughs> lists of tactics. Yeah. Best best uh, way to get good at the logging league, don't watch my gameplay. <laughs> or or watch my gameplay and do the exact opposite. I, I think we are very close though here. Chef can Oh get... we've got a jackknife. Keggs has jackknifed the truck. He's having to back up and untie himself. There we go. New so now where once this is full, where do I go? You've got to take it back, back to, the cell point. to the container unload point, yeah. The same spot where I loaded it. That's right. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. That's right. We are close here. Get reversing, Kermit. Are you full? Get reversing. Right. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Keep... We just about had some issues with the traffic, but Kiggs has negotiated that. He's on the main road and heading north to the cell point. We're at 93% full. We are oh, so we close. Literally one more log you need in there. 93, Chef. One more log just and you're good to go. Just as we're driving and following Kegs along the road here, I just want to remind everyone that he's using his mouth to steer that truck. Amazing. And I can't even keep up with him. He's, uh, he's going too fast for me. We're going to have to tab up to the cell point to watch him arrive. Right, these two logs, uh, Chef, if you can get these in, I think... Oh, too soon. Go, 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 oh. Kermit. Oh, right. Oh, no. There, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. go, 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 get out of here, Kermit. Right, I'm going to follow Kermit. Do I, need a, do I need a back up or just go straight? It's whatever, whatever you think oh. is the best route. I'm going to help you out. Well, I don't think here. this is the best, but uh, <laughs> I'll make it work from here. Kegs uh, is just pulling. Oh, he's got caught on the truck train crossing. He would just pulling into the uh, cell point. Right, then left, then left. Right? Do you think? Uh, okay. I was trying to avoid this crazy. Okay, uh, no, go. No, actually, go. Yeah, go left. Go left and do do the main road. And then get like to the main road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. We're just pulling. I was into the worried about here. anything else. <laughs> Don't, what's happened? Kegs's containers just paused in the middle of the air. It's it's unloaded itself. What's happened to it? This could be give you guys a chance because uh, the container just disconnected from the truck and he's driven oh, off. Did he not strap it, it down? It's... He didn't strap it down. Oh, yeah. I'm not oh, sure. What's what happened? the heck? Oh. 
What was that magic? <laughs> <laughs> Just a random jackknife. It did not like what I was doing. Uh, I think we're getting some server lag here or something like that. Uh, because Gaming with James is dr just driven through the middle of our container. Like, it doesn't exist. Okay. Um, yeah, my ping looks good, actually. Yeah, mine's good. Mine's this, really good. This server's in Texas, and I'm getting 80 ping here, so I'm... The good old yeah, G-Portal so server's doing their thing. I'm getting 25. This is the best ping I've seen in a while. <laughs> on servers and farms in. There you go. Unstrapped containers, yes. It is an issue we've yeah. come across before, so... So the container's just floating there, and you can't pick it up with the uh, wheel loader or anything. Interesting. Oh, so close. L literally, we're the <laughs> length of the container away from the cell point. Floof. And it's just stuck there. Someone in chat, Floof, said, at least if I end up in the river, I'm in my natural... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it out of the river though here comes oh, we're gonna, Kermit we're going to try and reattach the container and see if it detects but we don't get it there well Kermit is heading oh we've got it oh. it's strapped and he's oh no it stopped so close to the cell point again yeah Splash oh. I got you Kermit's past the uh, gas station we can see Kegarino's truck over here as well as Kermit comes it's along the in road. In the cell point, but it's not selling. Traffic on makes for an interesting uh, challenge, by the way, guys. <laughs> <As well. laughs> nice little bit of extra challenge there, having um, to deal with them. Kermit, read the chat. Make sure you read the chat. Yep, I got you. Unstrap before the trigger. Here we go. Well, here comes Kermit. Oh, you just about got caught out on that train trip. So we're, we, so we're putting it exactly back in the no, same no. spot? No, no, in the container. Oh, cell okay. point. Oh, cell point. Okay. Yeah. I meant to put music onto the stream as well, Whoop. but... Ah, uh... oh, so Kermit's had the same issue as well. And he, now he's trying to steal our container. <laughs> Apparently. It's floating trailers. Floating trailers, indeed. Um, I just have some playing in the background, but it's paused. There we go, there we go. Interesting. What's going on here? Well, there we are. Should have carried, we'll... should have stolen theirs and carried it out of the zone. And then... <laughs> out of the zone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh... Have you tried with the uh, um, the front loaders to see if they can pick them up? We have. They won't pick them up at all when they're like that and they're just sitting there. They'll strap onto the trucks, but well, Hamish has made a note of the times, so that's good. I would say it's fair to say that we didn't win that, even with the glitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we'll say first first blood to uh, Kegarino and Team Argzy. That That's fair, that's fair. But this is an interesting quandary. I wonder if this is an issue for the other two games as well. Or is yeah, this just I'm, a I'm guessing it could, possibly could be. Well, give me a moment, guys, and uh, I'll try to get my camera back on and hopefully it'll stay on so no i'll be right back well we've got the times uh hamish if you want to pop the times up although i think as uh as kermit said um without uh, the container getting stuck there it's fair to say that kegarina was a long way ahead of uh, that's right of kermit so i think yeah. we can safely say that args team won that first round we'll work out what's going on here i um, reluctant to restart the server because that'll give us a, a, a bit of downtime but uh it will hmm. if we uh if we need to we will and uh maybe we've uh detected an inadvertent bug that's come through with the game update. i know right i know right i wonder if anybody else has uh got a anybody who's watching at the moment has got a silver run um server anybody else come across this issue Try and strapping it now, James, that it's on the back of the truck. No luck. No luck. Just pretend it's not there. We're just going to have to rely on getting them delivered rather than the uh, quality and standard of what's delivered. Yeah. Um, well, let's let's spawn two new All containers right, for the next round. Let's see if... They're already up there. The truck containers oh, are Oh, they're already up there. Okay, so maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's... 
I'm, I'm quietly hoping it's the containers and not uh, not a game bug. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm glad I can sure. help you guys work out some some bugs at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually yeah, it's the other way around. Interestingly enough. <laughs> well, right. Should we uh, get these out of the way? Chef's opened, chef's opened our container and it's empty. So uh, they sold. So they sold. They kind of sold. No money's something. gone into. Yeah, the, no uh, money's gone in, but they've disappeared from the containers. Interesting. Because the containers are meant to um, disappear our, as well, aren't they? Though? Our container is uh, showing logs for me. Ah, Interesting. So it's not empty me. for me. We may have an issue here. Yep. Bug tracker. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Wheels. The whole container should be selling. This may be like something with the new update. Cloud9 um, in my chat. Now check. needs to be fixed. You have, a, you have the same issue on your server? This is a... Uh, it's showing a zero liters when I've strapped it onto the back of the truck. Interesting. So I wonder if they are selling, we're not getting the income for it, and they're not despawning like they should have. Okay. Cause, bug cause report, it, definitely go to the bug tracker with that one, I would say, because that's, that's pretty new, I think, after the update yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I've not yeah. seen that happen before. No. Right, should we reset, head on down to the other... Yeah, so if, the, um, um, if you want to, red team, if you want to move that truck out of the way, maybe park it over by Kermit's over there so we've got a clear run in for the next round. We'll head down to uh, location two. Okay. Location two is uh, at field two, is that where field we're Field two, yes, please. Kermit. Okay. And while the guys are... Uh, Getting organized for the next round. Args, um, again, we hmm. want to say a big thank you to uh, Thrustmaster. We do. For um, committing to uh, Logging League for the first for the next six months. The plan is to run an, a monthly round, start of every month, first Saturday of every month. Won't move. So it'll be a little bit later than it is now. Um, conscious it's only, it's only early in the US at the moment. That was to accommodate um, uh, Kermit uh, this week for uh, the community. <laughs> um, well, I appreciate and, that. And me with uh, with children and, and work commitments. This is yeah. it. So it's, yeah. What time is it for you in New yep. Zealand, Arx? 7, 7 a.m.? Uh, ten, 10 to 8. Um, 10 to 8. Mrs. Argsy is jumping on a plane very soon to get out of town for the night. So I've got kids to look after and all those kind of challenging things. The joys of being a father and family man. <laughs> <laughs> well as as well as full time employed with your own business and having a YouTube channel. Yeah, you guys are both busy men. Yeah. So uh, this is I'm a glad hobby. that you find time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad that you guys uh, find the time to do it. You both create great content and I'm this logging league. Um sorry to my teammates for letting you down in that first round. I'm gonna do my best to redeem it okay, here yeah. in the second competition. Well, so, so my question, Kerm, are you gonna do something different this time around? Are you uh are you a truck driver still, or do you think you might give something else a shot? Is it so? Um, is it a similar setup here, where we're going to be doing similar jobs, just with this? Uh, this looks like a more complicated course setup yeah. that you have to navigate. You've got a yeah, little bit of a same, maze here. Same yeah. Course. So same, same end goal: harvesting trees, using the loader to load them up, using a trailer with a container. Great. But yep. uh, exactly. you've got to navigate these these funky things. And earlier, you guys said that. You can't like uh, lift the trees over the fence, so you have to like get every bit of equipment in the same area. Correct. So, okay, for right. example, yep. where the container is there, you can't load that over the two orange fences behind the wheel loader. You've got to reverse the uh, truck into the parking space and then load up the container. Okay. Um, Farmer Hamish is suggesting at the end of this round when we're delivering the logs, unstrap your container and open the back doors before you enter the uh, the unload zone. We'll try and do some okay. live testing and see if I, if there's a way we can get around the issue. Um, as far as what I will do, I think um, I'll switch it up. I'll, I'll be on the loader. I'll uh, fail miserably Ooh. at scooping logs. I might let my team down even more, but... So I don't want to just be known as the guy who just drove the truck and sat there and the watched truck. the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Into the logging lead from Legan became a lorry driver. Yeah. 
Um, so interesting thing here, we've got a range of equipment, so you can actually choose what you want to load yes. with the high lift loader or the excavator. Um, oh, nice, yeah. In okay. the in the logging leak proper, we'll, uh, the teams are allowed to nominate their equipment for yeah. cutting and loading, um, and trucks as well. They can pick any of the base game trucks to use if they want to use a Mac versus a Volvo or something. Okay. Um, so this is but, our side over here where my teammates are loaded up. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think if we're ready to go, Hamish, I think everyone's here. I think we are, yeah. So we'll let Hamish do his thing in the chat, and we'll kick off we'll with uh, round two. This is a fun one. I enjoy this one. It's just an extra little level of, nice. uh, of chat. Let's just clarify around. what um, my team want to do. Okay, it's on high lift. We're going to yep. sit down and have a cup of coffee and let you guys have a minute head start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a, it's a handicapped okay. round. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's fight and talk. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to yeah. take that, Kermit? Yeah. Sure. I, I guess. Real? That's what I get for him not giving me an RZ, I guess. That's it. Uh, yeah. Let's show them how it's done. Let's soundly beat them this time. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. Uh, well. We're on a three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. All right. Off. There, there we, we go. go. Everybody was reading the chat that time. Yeah. So we look like we've got some changes going on here. Game with James has jumped into the cutter and he's using the Volvo. Samu has gone to the truck and that means Kigarino is going to be responsible for loading the logs into the back of the container. How are you doing? What's happening on your side? So uh, Real is going a slightly different route here. He's going to bring the container out. Um rather than reversing yeah. the trailer. But he's still going to have to move his trailer at some point. I mean, it's interesting to see which is the quicker of the two options here. But he hasn't broken yeah. the rules by lifting anything over the fences, which is interesting. I'm sure he has broken the rules. It's your team. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. We saw Kermit doing it before. <laughs> this is fighting talk. Um, we're slightly ahead this... in this four-mile-an-hour race to the oh, trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh a nice touch guys by uh, sectioning off the sequoias. Yes, and protecting don't touch them. the protected sequoias. Don't touch the trees. One of my most successful videos of the year so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to make that reference. Go and check out FSG's video on how to cut down the sequoias. <laughs> oh, Farmer Hamish is slightly unimpressed that uh, there was no reversing of the truck into the parking space to. Uh, to load up the container, but we're going to let it slide because it's a demo. I think it's a one minute time penalty, personally. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, though, he does not have much of an advantage over Samu. Samu's just got to getting the container onto the back of the truck, yep. and uh, Riel is driving in, so he's not too far ahead. So, interestingly, the container has been loaded not to the rear of the uh, loader as well, and he's reversing through. Ooh, he's wow. reversing okay, he's, he's, he's adding Don't a challenge. Don't use this log. Okay. <laughs> Brave. Samu's on. That's locked on. So interestingly, it locks further back onto the low loader if you haven't extended it, which is what Keg did in the first round. Mm. It locks further back. So Kegarino, I think, are definitely maybe practiced, done a few tests before the uh, start of the game to know that. Because um, that's not something Indeed. you just Indeed. find out, is it? No, you don't. Because you wouldn't um, necessarily extend the low loader for the short not container. Not just a single. Yeah, that's right. Not for a single twenty-foot container. How are your I'm trees looking? How are your cutting the squad doing? Yeah, they're, they're well into it. Game with James has got a couple of trees down. Um, I was just saying, I'm intrigued that Kegs is using the Volvo loader. I'm assuming that this is not uh, very good. His control setup. The excavator might be better off for him than the. High lift one, as mm. so we're seeing Kermit straight in the background. Yeah, the high lift, um, I forgot how like intricate it is, but um, and I've not used it in a bit, but it is a very nice piece of machinery if you know how to operate it. <laughs> that helps. Knowing how is an important step. Oh, well, that's a nice little move, though, Kermit. You twisted those to get them into a better position. I like that. 
So now he needs to bring the truck like within here too, and he is just absolutely struggling, huh? Or That's I right. can actually come to him as well. You could, as long as you don't lift it over the fence, you can. But Real has got himself in a real problems here. If you excuse I'm the pun. Bump. That was purely unintentional. You're uh, a pro commentator now with that those hey, kinds of comments on FSG. But there we go, Reels. Reels got it in position. Back doors are open, just as Kermit arrives. So, and this is where the this is where the magic of this um, eye lift works. Oh, is that lovely. you can actually control that header and spin it end on, so you can drive. Yeah, straight I think in. I think it's gonna be like how used to it you are. But like, if you can if you can get really good at this, and uh, I'm far from really good at it. It gives you a little bit more like of a margin of error too, like if you don't quite like have them on right or you didn't line up like driving in there, then you can just spin it around, yeah. which would be nice. Scooter's workbench, yes, that video will be coming in the not too distant future. But there, look at look at Kermit just tweaking the angle of those logs ever so slightly, and that's a that's a cracking second load in. And if you look over at uh, the red team, um, we have gone from quite a long way behind them to I think taking the lead now this is going to be interesting to see how this one plays out actually with the difference oh. in equipment and machinery but like you say it's all what you're familiar with and all what you've used that's right and I'd like to think as, as time goes on through the league and the season because it will be um, it is a league it isn't a knockout competition so people can come back um, each month and keep playing so I can imagine some people training right. in the interim as well, which could be quite interesting, and we might see some different tactics and things coming as the as the series evolves. Yeah, I'd be interesting to see what um, different tactic could be used as well. You see it in the FSL with different ways and different things, and uh, <laughs> certainly had Trelleborg have been the leaders in coming up with inventive ways to play the game. They have indeed. They have indeed. It'd be interesting to see if we can get the same thing going on here. So, just watching you guys. X about to load up. Whereas we've actually, Kermit's getting another pile sorted here, but we're. Uh, Chef is struggling to keep up. Kermit's being so efficient with the loading. Chef is struggling to keep up. It's a good problem to have. Right it is, now, to be it honest. <laughs> because honestly, it, it, it um, is not putting a whole lot of pressure on me. So, like. For example, here, I've not exactly, like, grabbed those where I would want to. They're a little bit too much to the side. So let's now... Um, so someone's asking in our YouTube chat, and they said how many... Per you guys are going to do and V1 in this, correct? That's right. There's been a lot of interest from uh, solo players as well. Uh, when we did it originally 3v3, um, there was a lot of people asked if they could um, do a 1v1 version. So we're definitely going to look at doing two competitions, a 3v3 and a 1v1, and seeing how it'll work out. Okay, cool. So we're still working on how the final scoring will work over the length of the league, but uh, there was those. an idea about having, having um, points for just attendance to try and encourage people to be consistent. Yep. Uh, I was wondering about having you know just your best four rounds scored. So yep. you know, if you're not able to make a round, you can drop one. Um, but it all leads into having a, a grand final in, in around July. Um, so cool. we'll just have to see how we go with timing around that. But that's the that's certainly the intent. Um, first first weekend of every month is our intended time frame for it. Um, but right. I was chatting to my um, a lot of people in Australia and New Zealand. I did a stream last night, which is based around Oceania time zones and um, did even throw the idea down about having some extra rounds during midweek for, for those people where the time zone's a little bit more favourable so yep. we might look at doing that yep. That's and cool. again we'll, we want to see where it goes because again you may have European, North American and Australian or Australasian right. um, rounds as well right. uh, Hamish has got a couple of good ideas for solo courses as well so that's good to see uh, cool. So how are we doing? Here? Oh no, oh, those are going up. Oh Kermit, that was so close Dude. to a perfect load, and it's gone. I think it's like um, um, trying to get used to uh, the controls for this on the controller because spinning it 
is oh, look, oh, look at them going in anyways. <laughs> They've just gone anyway. Good teamwork there. Oh, he's uh, done a real good job. The controls to spin it are very close to the controls that like open and close the claw. So it is very easy to just yeah. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop this one now and it does not wanna does not wanna drop. I think that's where the joy of the uh, Thrustmaster T sixteen thousand joystick can come in handy when you're uh, uh, when you can control your vehicle. Um, one of the things that I've really enjoyed with the Platinum Edition is using a joystick to uh, enhance things. It's been great. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm just standing here behind your container FSG, looking across to the other team, my team, and I don't think there's much between how it's full very each close. container is. It is very it close, is. isn't it? It is. It's, uh, this one, I think, seems to be a little bit of a leveler, this course. I'm not sure what, what it is about it that makes a difference to the other one. But I'm not too, I would have, before this round started, I would have high lift all, all the way. But watching uh, watching Keg, Kegarino with the uh, the grapple has been really interesting because he's, he's really kept up pace with... While you can pick up more, I think, with the, the high lift... Um, I think you can maybe move a little bit quicker with the with the grapple, so. Indeed. So part of me th wonders if like I wouldn't be better off with like uh, the in cab perspective at times. Or the camera, yeah, the amongst cam these trees. The camera mount for the that's something that's great in the platinum is the camera mount for the for the implements on the front of them. Going the wrong way. That one's coming no. out. Bummer. Went the wrong way for sure. Oh, we've got to be super close to full here. Both containers are super yeah. close to full. Looking at it. Now, if we had the Kubota DLC installed, we could uh, had passengers in there and actually checked it out. I know, right? Maybe next time. So, there we go. Talk to you later. Okay? Red team are super close to filling. Super close. I'm going to come Mrs. back Arx to oh, just walking out the door to my team. Time, so. Safe travels, Mrs. Argsy. Thank you. I do believe Mrs. Argsy is going to make her her uh, first appearance she is, yeah, she, on she your is channel really, soon, isn't she? she is, oh, really? Uh, she, nice. She, she, I ran a little screenshot competition over Christmas period when I was um, out of town, and um, she's doing the judging. So we're just trying to find some time to get together and do a video when she's comfortable doing it so so i'm looking now across in between the two sequoias here and i think you may have just taken the lead arcs by yeah a matter of one or two logs um, i think so but chef has just put a fantastic pile of logs right in front of kermit so the yeah. pressure's now on him to get all of these picked up and loaded into the back of the truck without dropping any why and, does it uh, always end up with kermit being the <laughs> I wouldn't want it any other way. I definitely have, I definitely have a concentration face going on. Here we go. Oh, he's okay. got all but one. That's not red bad. team. Are, not red bad. team are full and backing out. So Kermit, if you can get this, because uh, Reel's a lot closer to the front of the uh, arena, and he's facing in the right direction. So, so that's going to fill it up. These four logs. How close are they going to go? Oh, oh, oh! Is it full? Is it full? We don't know. We don't know. Can't tell. Gotta hope that the guys no are. Way to tell. Rio's not driving. Yeah, I guess off, it's full. Yes, it's it. full. This it is gonna off. be super oh. close. Oh, is he gonna get stuck on the log on the way out? Is it gonna cause issues? Oh. No. Oh he's made that turn as well. That was a tight nice. turn. You've got to oh, really... this could be redemption, but look at this. So they're going back to the same sawmill, so same yeah. point. Do we, we want to travel up there now and kind of yeah so you guys yeah. them basically tab up there yeah and hopefully oh this is going to come down to some driving oh, oh, is, oh. now who thought there was a gate there you could have actually kept going because the fence maybe breaks at the other end but oh uh, yeah so reels they're picking uh, different directions here oh reels going oh yeah oh you don't want to do he that doesn't know where he's going you don't want to do that i'm just having a look on the money map <laughs> <laughs> it's chaos now because, oh man oh wow okay I'm going to jump down to the shop and watch them from the shop. Yeah, because I'm going to have to jump over as well. Right. Here we are. We are in the gas station. We're going to see... This is the next checkpoint. Who gets here first? We need Farmer Cop in here just to see if there's any road violations. 
<laughs> oh, I can. T oh no! Look, the crash up there with Rio. He, he was going to take the lead coming out behind the uh, oh, roller coaster. He's clipped the fence. He's clipped the fence. How and that's given my he? team the chance to get ahead. Oh, oh no. sometimes it takes. Samu. It takes a little bit of patience. Looks like Sam that long gone. I think. I think, uh, I think we we might be proper stuck down here. I think you might we be are proper stuck. Wedged. You might have to reset the truck. Oh man! Has he tried to cut a corner? What happened? Uh, there oh, there we he's go. disconnected yeah. the trailer. There we go. So he's out. It was oh, going he, so well. He it tried was. To it was going to be a really the, close uh, run. It was going to be a really close run. Thing. At least he's gotten it unstuck. Nicely done. Now here's Samu. So he, went, he went for the gap between the fence and the lamppost and uh, didn't quite work out for him. Samu's made a beeline now. He is absolutely nailed on to win this now. The only thing that could slow him down is if the train happened to come across the tracks at the right time. This is true. That so would, we are at the great. container warehouse. Yeah. But we are not seeing it coming out the tunnels, so... Well, let's see if the containers are going to load here, but I do think we've got a clear winner. Stop signs with whiteboarders are optional, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so Samu <laughs> is here. He is going to unstrap and open the container before he reverses into the uh, cell point. Let's see if this makes a difference. The train is actually on its way, so it, it wasn't far away from being a uh, spinner oh, in the works there. So unstrap. Only I, I had my special admin powers. <laughs> well, I tell you, blue team have made a pretty good comeback here, and that oh, container's in. Twenty-one thousand two hundred fifty-nine dollars. Twenty-one thousand. So it's worth noting, isn't it? Oh, look, we've lost a container over there, though. Ah, so he's got that glitch. As we sold it, interesting. Yeah. There he goes. He's back on though. Hmm. So I'm interested. I don't so think this one's going to sell. No, I don't I think, think so. Once the glitch either. has happened, I don't think it wants to sell. So you um, were just going to say, if it's G around our scoring, that uh, I was, you yeah. penalised by having the lesser quality wood. That's um, right. For every thousand dollars difference in the price of wood. So if you have a container that's nineteen thousand dollars, but you finish a minute ahead, you would actually lose the round by a minute. So every thousand dollars worth Great. of of wood is the equivalent of a minute of time so we'll balance out oh, so okay. it pays to make sure that you um, optimize the length of the wood that goes into the specific container so six meter lengths are the right yep. thing to do right that's that's yeah. smart that makes sense that's and uh chef made sure to tell me that in chat or <laughs> that he cut was, he said don't say, pick this one up basically yeah. Yeah. i was gonna say it's a good thing you told your loader driver that rule as well if it's yeah. right <laughs> So I think this one's going to glitch out again, um, but it kind of is yeah. at a mute point because uh, it would be nice to see how much you would have earned, but I think we're, we're pretty close what on six, six meters. I'd say so. I think they're pretty yeah. much optimized, the two uh, container loads, but yeah. that's, that's interesting. All right. Working out the kinks here while we're having fun, right? Before it so gets interestingly, interesting interestingly, the... Um, that container went floaty on the road, and I think kegs did in the first night. So I wonder if there's something over on the road that's causing no, his, a little bit of a... I think his went floaty just as we came across the train tracks. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, not quite on the road, but it is something. It seems to be something down in this, this neck of the woods. Yeah. Okay, so again, it's empty, but we've not received the money for it, and okay, it's floating in midair. But let's move that truck out of the way. Uh, we are two nil down here right so is it an is overall score redemption. is it the best of is it the, the best, best of three rounds is it an overall score how are you guys scoring it is the best of three um, rounds at the moment but um well i don't know what do you think Args? well i think it will depend on how many teams we end up having entered um yeah. around how long how long we want to stream we want to give everyone a chance to play each week so it could be uh let's say you know just spitballing here we had eight teams entered um there might be four matches so they each team plays one other team yeah each uh stream 
and we'd pull the we'd, it'd be a random selection to which course you would get correct yeah so one week they might play on one course the next week we'd yeah. try and make sure they play on a different course yeah that's cool hmm. yeah i'm i'm interested to see like uh, how has the one v one gone so far for you guys, or have you not had any of those tested yet? The, only, the competition only between me and Alex, yeah. yeah, and that went oh, really yeah. well. If you have my team, <laughs> it would it, it would be it would it's it would be interesting to see like someone have to do all three things. That's what uh, some people are saying in chat as well. And yeah, have been switched like. And that would be so much more complicated, especially like you can't rely on your truck driver to help you, you know, get those logs loaded. That's right. Yeah, I think that's the draw. Here. That's the draw of the one v one, isn't it? The uh, the opportunity to kind of do everything as efficiently as possible. Yeah, Wait, absolutely. Kermit, if you want to head up to the third um, station, okay. we can get started on round. Very three. north of the the map here, where the that's trucks right. are on a giant incline. Okay. That's right. So this is a completely different course. We have got yarders at the top. Um, so the okay. trucks have to get up the very tight uh, working area here. And then the vehicles are, are parked further back from the uh, from the yarders. Now, there is the temptation of a few cut logs already halfway down the hill. The decision to whether or not you start with those or you just go straight for the trees that are closest to the top. So... Um, a little bit of a, a little bit of a wild card in there for how you want to decide mm. to run it. Um, it's the same on both sides. Yeah. So here, instead of having a loader, you have the yarders doing that work. Is that That's correct? That's correct. Or... Yes. So well, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're you've bringing... still got the loaders. Yeah. The yarders provide some pre-cut logs where you can basically get a head start. So gotcha. it's, uh, how many have we got down? Two, four, six, six, six pre-cut load logs down the bottom of the yarder. So you could get those up to the yarder and then use the loader to put them in the back of the truck, or you might just choose to ignore that and just get straight to cutting and loading. Yeah. Uh, so where where are the loaders parked? Am I blind? Uh, Behind back you. up here. So we don't have loaders. We've got the excavators, the um, uh, Vol okay. Volvo the smaller grapples. grapple fronts. Yeah. Um, gotcha. So so your option is you could use your oh, you could use your um, your fellas there and the loaders and never touch the yarders and go for the trees around the top or you can use the yarders and bring stuff up from further down in the valley it's up right. to you okay um, yep. we had uh, um hamish has just thrown in that there is one five meter log in the pile of logs as well so you need ah, to right. be careful yeah oh you got to be careful and not grab that one then that's right that's right okay interesting so Legion note. was just saying in my chat we should have a 1v1 v1, which was on the cards, but I think we're going to run out of time to be able to fit that in. We might tonight. Yeah, this is yes. going to be the last uh, the last thing for the day, huh? It's yeah. blown by. It it's already an hour of 15. We've been live. We'll, we'll, we'll get Kermit back again. He's yeah. had so much fun. I'm sure he'd love to have a good This is a lot of fun. And to be honest, like I'm still trying to figure it all out in my brain. So I feel like... <laughs> um, I will have even more fun if I if I play it a couple of different times. So. Quick suggestion as well, guys: don't use straps at all on the containers this time, just to see if that helps the the glitch issue. Also, um, yeah. be careful going around corners if you haven't got straps on, because they do fly off these containers if you're uh, if you don't have them strapped down. Yeah. Kermit, what yeah. your what's your weapon this uh, time? Well, I. Uh... You should I, cut some trees question. down this time. You should. That 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 means you've covered all the bases. Yeah, you're right. Although the um, the harvesters that you have for this particular course are gonna are a little bit scary to me. But why not? <laughs> I'll give it a go. Uh, I feel I feel some flipping in my future potentially. <laughs> um, um, flip worthy. Sure. Why not um, complete the trifecta and uh, I'll cut this time. Um, so interesting though, like, I wonder what my team wants me to do. Do I go, uh, down the hill some and use the yarder or, um, do I stay near the top? Not being able to talk with them. Definitely. Uh, yeah. I guess that's just, gonna have to guess. I'd suggest you... staying near the top and trying to cut some of the trees. So you yeah. don't have to worry about the, the uh, yarder, but. There's only okay. a limited pool of trees. There's another point and worth pointing out here from Hamish. Uh, do not click on the map and teleport to your machine. You have to run to your machines. 
Right? Yeah. Fair? Yeah. All right. There we go. Driver 53 said you can be an honorary member of the Crusher crew today, Kuma. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. I don't know what that means, but. No, neither do I. Nice. <laughs> right. Okay. Do you think? Oh. There it is. And we're off. So we're going to have to see who gets up here to which equipment first. So Chef is who taking is the truck for our team, and Gaming with James is taking the red team's truck. All right. So I'm assuming they're going to mix it up, which means Kigarina will be cutting on this load, and uh, Samu will be taking the loader. Okay. Yes, indeed it is. I uh, thought... Okay, so Real has fired up our... Uh... Yard. Oh no, he's taking it down. It disconnected the yarder, and I think they're going to move it out of the way. So they've omitted the yarder in completely, and they're going for all the trees at the top. That container looks a little bit wobbly. Oh, that's making me nervous. That container. That would be. Oh gosh, James has just gone around really, really fast, and. Uh... I've got Is like this go this lineup of this is like all wrong. I can't believe I do this job. <laughs> have you got easy have you got easy cut on? Easy cut on, yeah. Do I need uh I don't know, in the settings. Yeah. Or Yeah, when easy. the the header detects the uh, log and you just press the button and it automatically attaches it automatically to it. Oh aligns. yeah, I was like all aligning it is what I was trying oh yeah, that's it. But uh I guess the it's going to a different tree now. I want it to go to this one. There we go. There we yeah, go. but the like the header is going you all unfolded weird. your header. Yeah. There it is. It's reset. Okay. It does not want to grab this tree for whatever reason. Uh, deadwood, maybe. Oh well, it was it was gonna let me align to it. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's pick a different tree. <laughs> Gonna have to go down the hill a bit. Oh, our yard has been reconnected. Well, that Kermit's might maybe was a little bit mistake. That's all I'm getting out of this. He did say he didn't it, like these. It won't. These. Yeah, it won't go back. Yeah, the Komatsu are like my least favorite one. I should have done. So Team Nugsy's pulled three logs up with the Yada, so they... Yeah, and I've, going... I've done nothing yet. Um, <laughs> my my header is just, like, tilted down and will not go right side up. Have you tried folding it again, Kermit? I was going to suggest turn it, turn it off and back on again. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Uh, and, of course, I have to do this, like, on the hill as well. I should have cut early for sure. Okay, I mean, so now it's on. Use comma. comma. There you go. It's reset itself, I think, or trying to. It's still, like, kind of tilted downward, but I'll try. Give it a whirl. See what happens. I think that, like, trying to use controller right now is putting me actually at a disadvantage. But you can rotate it forward, won't it? Chef saying top out might reset it. Yeah, how about Chef yeah. takes over? We're gonna get no trees. <laughs> I think um I think Keg's just had the same issue with his one. He just topped out and in and again and it reset the um header. So yeah, he's yeah. See, it would not go upright for me. So how are we doing? Gaming with James is loading up the container. Okay, let's try this again. Kiggs is getting trees wrapped around trees while he's trying to cut them to length here. Even Which like the uh, even the auto like a line is not being my friend at the moment. Oh, no. First day logging. Well, I've not log. I've not cut a lot of trees. Platinum came out, and this. This Komatsu especially is not my friend. Ah, oh, containers glitched again. Ah, uh, have they? Yeah. 
Interesting that it's done it now. It, it just will know. not go to the tree I want it to go to. Chef is going to have to take over. Chef, take over. <laughs> I don't want to completely get no trees here. <laughs> Sometimes it helps when you hold your tongue just right while locking. Yeah. yeah the concentration hey, face on. Yeah, like Michael heads. Jordan style. Um, I think it's also it. like trying to pick trees in that area. Like, Chef is going to an area where it's a little bit. Amish, do we want to go and get another container for the guys and bring more it? More of a favorable angle. No, I didn't want to practice because you know what? I don't mind making a. And That's it makes an for good content. Tool. We've got, a, we've, got a, we've got a duff container as well here. We've got another floaty container, so the guys can't. No. Not load Contrary it. to popular belief, I don't just get to play farm sim on the job <laughs> as well. So, um, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't get to play it as much as I used to before I got the job. With um, just because you know, I've got so many other things to do. Take care of. Uh, get, take care of this awesome community. What's up, old man Shorty? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. In What's the competition, we are allowed to paint terrain, terrain to remove ground clutter. I doubt it. No. Right, we're sorting you another Sounds container, like guys. Sounds like permit rules, though. You gotta make do with what's given to you. How's your... How's your... Uh, oh, you've not put anything in your container yet, either, so... Right, I think uh, Hamish might be sorting a, another container quickly for us. It's going to take a while to get here, that'll be all. It is. Is there a way to have more AI workers on a server? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Old man Shorty. Mr. Scroft so, is in the house. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Hey, Scroft. Well, we could have maybe attached another log there. I like the yarders a little. I'm a big fan the of the yarders. yarders. Fun, yeah. Such a fun addition. I guess that I am going to get into the, the loader now since I failed miserably. I'm sorry. Cutter. Oh, it's frustrating about these containers. That's uh... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good to find out now rather than uh, in a first week of That's right. Like that. That's right. That's right. Let's That's see how uh, let's see if Kermit's container is going to fill. I love this course because it is there's there's no space to work. It makes a big difference. This is yeah. This stuff. is kind of tough. And then also like going from the high lift and switching to this uh, yeah. equipment now. Like I'm having to completely like think differently in my brain, like how to how to operate it. Yeah, and I think that's. And the yarder keeps Whoa, like pushing me as well. <laughs> Kev has been thrown into a tree by the yarder. Just as you were about to grab that log, so I'm you lined up for your position for it. It'll be interesting that um, so you guys have gotten official support from Thrustmaster, which is cool. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. And G Portal uh, providing our servers as well, which is great. Is so, uh, Thrustmaster, are they going to be providing their, like, stick setups for players to use in the competition or as prizes, or...? There is, um, there is, um, we have got, uh, permission for giveaways and prizes for the series as well, yes, so, um, yeah. we're trying to work out how we're going to do it yet, but, uh, there's definitely, uh, a, a decent prize fund, it's fair to say. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, this course, man, you did. You know that saying, "Save the best for last." This yeah. is the opposite. <laughs> this is the opposite of that. <laughs> this is this is save the most challenging for last. We do this one last yeah. so people don't log off after the first round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, your container is uh, working, so. Uh, Good show. But you've only just put your first logs in, so even though you're missing your container, uh, red team, you're, um, I don't think, at a massive disadvantage because you've got a rather large pile of logs there. And Kermit's literally just put his two logs in. Does not want to go in reverse mm. at times. It is picky. 
Am I caught on something? This thing does not want to move. There we go. Definitely, if the uh, if the yard is coming up and down, you may be getting caught on that. Hmm. Be some sort of collisions there. i look down the hill to see where the yard is. So here's the yard coming. This will be interesting with a log on it. What's this going to do? Oh, oh that's oh. what it's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so there that's you so go. Yeah, Klein, uh, that's, a good, that's a good bit of advice. Just turn turn this thing because it does. this whole thing will turn 360. I don't need to move it that much. That's right. Yeah. But obviously a lesson there, you know, maybe the truck, the other side of the yard are might be the right route just the way the uh, land is set and as it falls away there the logs are naturally going to la end up on that side of the so it that's might right. be you that's might be right. you want to park the truck further down so here we are getting the, the highlight, that's back. for sure replacement container has arrived oh no <laughs> oh we're upset <laughs> kermit has gone over Yo, completely. The yarder just, that, that yarder is absolutely just like it's so strong it's got it in for you <laughs> uh i can see your undercarriage kermit Oh, okay, kinky. <laughs> so how, let's see if Kermit can get up using the arm of the... Get it rolled down and down the hill. <laughs> I I can see my... Like, I'm not in the seat, apparently, in, like, cab view. Welcome, welcome <laughs> to Thunder. This is what it's like living in New Zealand. Take care, Scott. Nice we'll design on the bottom. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I wanted to do. I just wanted to show everyone sign on the bottom of how good the modeling Lively. detail is Lively detail on the mod. Yeah, yeah that's that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it <laughs> there we go you're almost back oh now the yarder needs to give me like you know some assistance maybe flip me back <laughs> over yeah meanwhile the chef go. flash ju is just working away cutting trees trying to get the job done ignoring things Oh, the yarder oh, didn't quite put me yeah. upright. <laughs> oh, man. Right. You're going to be that guy this they ask to not come back on the second day, Kermit. You know that. Oh! Hey, he's back. Hey. He is back. And sliding man. down the hill. <laughs> Fortunately, the other container is working. So uh... Excellent. So Samu is starting to load down. This is interesting <laughs> with all of that, prob all of those problems with the uh, container. They have gone from behind to very much in front. Oh my goodness! I am just like absolutely just stuck on a tree now. And look at the size of the trees that they're loading in here as well. They got half a container and literally two loads here. That's amazing. my question for you kermit have you ever rage quit a game before <laughs> no how close, def how close def are you? definitely <laughs> definitely never farm sim you guys have created something <laughs> special here to get me thinking about it first ever rage quit on farm sim farm it just sim. this thing does not have enough like power in reverse to like get me yeah, back up off of this tree oh no it I will not do it chains chainsaws to be able to cut it for you Keg arena's right down in the valley here just working away. Can I wow. change this tree down? Well, I guess I could go watch the other team show me how it's done, <laughs> at the very least. Because I'm not getting this thing undone. Uh, don't have questions. It's all right. That's a bummer. Yeah. Sorry, I'm team. Be... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to be the spoil sport too because uh, it is 8:30 for me, and I do have to get my children somewhere very soon. So. Well, me absolutely failing is probably a good stopping point. Um, I think we can safely say that the red team have done a complete clean sweep here, even though. Yeah, this I think you're you're going to ask for this hat back. Finished. I was just going to say, if it's because it's your right. For that hat. <sighs> I'll take the hat off so I don't bring you any more shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, put your well, DJ um, Gohan one on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me. I do need. Maybe I should do that. Put like put them all in the office here in the stream room. Just get a rack of all the hats that people yeah. have given me. That would uh, be cool. Sh uh, I, I told cool. you guys I'd make a fool of myself, and that's what I did. It, but it was a oh, lot of fun. Hey, I don't think you made a fool of yourself at all, mate. I no, think you all. did very well. That loading, that loading was very impressive. How close was that game until the uh, little crash there on the truck? And that's why it shows. You know, you've got to work. As a yeah, team I think that. Done. 
if I were to, um, you know, if I were to be someone about to like compete in the competition, I would suggest that I, my team never lets me get close to harvesting. I'm happy to do <laughs> the other two jobs. I definitely, you need a lot more practice than, yeah. than the other two jobs, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sam is flying with his loading here. He's doing a wonderful yeah. job here. We're just watching him literally load a container from half full to full in about two loads. It's brilliant. Mm. And obviously when the league proper, you know, the teams get to choose their equipment so you wouldn't be uh, stuck with something you weren't comfortable with using yeah. or familiar with using. This is true. This, yeah. this bit of the challenge is actually super challenging on this hill. I think that... Mm. Um, so how far down the hill can you go? Is it like all the way to basically as as where the want. container yard is yeah yeah you could go pretty as far much as we, yeah. we own, own all the way down there so See, yeah, like i feel like i may have been better off to just go down there like pretty early on and then like use the yarder just because man trying yes. to work on that hill was a heck of a challenge it'd be interesting to um, see if any teams did try that when they're looking at this course and right. scout it out maybe some flatter spots where there was some better ground to harvest from but that was great, Argzy. I know you got to run. Um, yeah, but, no, uh, before you go, can you uh, tell us? Like, people are wondering, like, how do they sign up? How do they, how do yeah, they so get involved? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we've just set up our own Discord server specifically for the logging league. Uh, so we'll be having a link there. Um, that will be the best way. We are going to work on a website and have something up there where you know people can keep track of scores and how the league's going and everything like that sure. as it goes through. Uh, yeah. Have all the rules and everything available on that. So uh, there's some you know some cool developments and and that and uh, you know obviously with Thrustmaster and G Portal both being involved has given us a bit of extra impetus to get it going. But uh, yeah. it's been a lot of fun having you know just being able to do this exhibition with you has uh, obviously shown the potential for it as well and and what it's like watching. Um, and for spectating as well, because I think it's a pretty cool spectator event. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Discord yeah, so. link I have put in my uh, description of my stream, and also if you go okay. to either my Discord, the Farm Sim Guy. You want to drop that in uh, Discord real quick, and I'll share it. Can or the Argsy, or Argsy's as well. Yes. Um, or yeah. Argsy's Discord will uh, post it there as well. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. Um, and. Make sure you guys go follow these uh, guys as well. If you're not watching them on YouTube, you guys are doing not just this, but consistent content throughout the week That's all right. the time. So, yeah, um, but sign I'll up. Drop your everybody, links in chat. everybody who's watching who thinks it could be good fun, sign up because I think you could have a really good time with it. Yeah. So yeah, there's Argy's really channel. Competitive. Yes. Indeed, it was yeah. It was just a way to have some fun because we you know we really enjoyed it and it was a lot of a big laugh when we did it. Um, yeah. Between ourselves and, and that and to you know just have an impromptu set up and, and that and just to just to give it some legs and make it a bit more official, but fun. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Well, well thanks, we appreciate, guys. Yeah, no, we appreciate the invite and uh, for sharing it with the community, Kermit. It's uh, it's very cool. Yeah, and I'm sure that you guys will kind of keep me updated with how it's going. Um, so yeah, all three Absolutely. links are in chat, both of their YouTube yep. channels, uh, the Discord link as well. So if you're interested in participating, go join these guys. Um, all right, yeah, guys, I'm going to let you go and say goodbye to my stream. So yeah, no, um, thanks, Kermit. Um, much yeah, appreciated. You, appreciate that. And we'll we'll have to get you back either in a guest a guest commentator capacity or something like that, maybe during the season. Yeah, yeah I would definitely, I would definitely like to uh, play anytime you guys practice and I have time and you need someone, um, you know, um, I would definitely like to play it again because I had a lot of fun. My cool. wife's even in chat saying that was fun to watch. There you go, guys. Oh, nice. You awesome. got Mrs. Kerm's seal of approval. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, later, guys. Right. Talk to you Excellent. soon. Everyone. Thanks, Kerm. Yeah. All the best. Appreciate it. Thanks, later, Alex. guys. I'll see you too. Yeah, we'll catch you later, PSV. Yeah, cheers, mate. I am going to jump back to here. I will let Argsy say bye to his guys. So, yeah, a few little bl glitches there, and I, I suppose it's the reason you do these little showcases, isn't it, to get things uh, ironed out. Um, we'll try and get these sorted, hopefully, for um, first round proper, which is on the 4th of Feb, so the first Saturday of every month um, it is going to be. So the first one on the 4th of Feb. So if you want to get um, joined up, signed up, get a team in, uh, or get a, uh, uh, sign up as an individual, get yourself sorted um like i said the links to the discord are in my chat below i think on the stream but if it's not 
I can't remember what I've put in there now. I think I did put it in. But if I haven't put it in, jump on to the Farm Sim Guy Discord and we'll get you set up there as well. So um, I hope you found that fun. I'm sorry I pretty much ignored chat for the entire stream, but I um, uh, hope that uh, you enjoyed it. The more to come, we're going to polish this a little bit more. I meant to put music on as well, just to kind of give us a bit more ambience as well. So any feedback as well that you want to, you want to give please chuck it in we, we want to hear and we want to make this as good as, as good as it can be and as interesting and as fun as it can be for all of you so uh, um let us know what you think um but uh, massive shout out to farmer hamish for setting up three brilliant uh, courses um we will work out what's going on with the containers and fix that hopefully it's not an, a game glitch uh, but even if it is i'm sure kermit can uh, help us uh, resolve that but for now um that was that was that was good fun and a slightly different thing to do on a Wednesday than my normal live stream. So, uh, um, thank you for all the support. Um, thank you to Thrustmaster for sponsoring us and having the belief that this is something that could take off. Uh, thank you to G Portal for hosting the servers for us, um, and uh, we will see you the next time. But for now, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weeks. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>